Hey, this is Piggy with a little bit of illustrator technique. All right, we're going to make this. First, we're going to try what is the first obvious way to make it, if you know a little about illustrator, but doesn't actually work. And then we're going to make it this way. What we're making is inspired, of course, by the opening sequence to the 80s children's science show, 321 Contact. Um, you're, you can sing the song if you like, I don't mind. Anyway, so I've already drawn this and now I'm gonna Select all and just delete it so we can start fresh. I've already made, got two layers. One layer has a black background. I've got a, I've got a white stroke and no fill from the shapes I'm going to draw. And I've got them out to, and I'm going to draw 10 point strokes. One important other thing we need to do for this is go to the preferences and turn and make sure that scale strokes and effects is turned off because we want the line weight to remain constant here. Okay, so we go grab the polygon tool and we're going to draw out a hexagon. It's a good start. Now we'll copy this hexagon and paste it in front. Get the free transform tool and alt shift size it down. Then we will select all. Then we do object blend make. And you know, that doesn't look right, does it? And we can do object blend blend options and flex around. And you know, it still doesn't look right. It's too rhythmic. They're all the same weight. You know, and we could like play around with, I don't know, you know what happens if we make this like 20, 20 points? And well, it's getting a little closer, but it's just not there yet. Making a blend is not the right way to do this. Blends are great for some things. For instance, Blends are great for making quick perspective lines. Do, do, do. Why isn't it making blend here? Object blends are really great for making quick perspective lines, for instance. And they're great for a lot of other things, but in this case, they're wrong. Whenever you want to really make something that's got some perspective stepping on it, Blend is not the way to do it. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do here is the other way to do it. We start again for clearing everything off. Make our hexagon. And then and that should be 10 points again. So now we copy the hexagon. And then we paste in front. And then we get the free transform tool again. And this is where it starts getting different. Instead of sizing down like this, we just size it down a little from the first step to the next one. All right. And then we select all and we do edit. Oh, actually, um, you know, I can never actually remember where it is. I just know what type transform. Anyway, we do, um, Oh, there we go. Object, transform, transform again, Apple D. And it repeats the last transformation we did. Now, if we do this again and again, it just sizes it down exactly the same as we just did it. So let's undo those resizes. Now, so we've got two hexagons. Then we do Apple F to paste the first hexagon where it was. It's starting to look a little tunnely now, isn't it? So we select all, we transform again, and we paste again. And we can just do apple A, apple D, apple F. Apple A, apple D, apple F. Apple A, apple D, apple F. And it's starting to look like that hexagon that we had at the beginning. So it's got some perspective going, but so like, so what's happening so, you know, there's a sensation of perspective going on with this. Okay, and now that we've got that, oh, what the hell, let's target this layer and add, and just to make it a little more 1984, add an outer glow, normal, because otherwise we won't see it on the black. Same color as this. And, oh, let's make it a decent amount of blur. Do, 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 calculate, calculate. And there we have our hexagons. And oh, since I'm using global color swatches, let's make it a nice cyan. 
thinks for a moment as it recalculates the blur, and there we go. Three, two, one, contact hexagons. And we can make three of them, change the size a bit. Make, change the color on these. And ideally I'd want to change the glow color of all of these. But I'm too lazy for this quick tutorial. And there we go. 321 contact logo right in front of you. So hopefully in the future I'll do a few more of these little things. I might walk you through doing a whole drawing. Well actually I'd probably just record it because I don't want to talk my way through an entire drawing. That'd be kind of hard on the throat. Anyway, um, hopefully this won't be the last. See you around.